Good evening. You're watching Boy State News. I am Carter Schmidt. And howdy. I'm Drake Dittman. We are here to cover various activities throughout this week. As Boy State is well underway, there has been a lot going on at the Northern State University campus here in Aberdeen. John Thune stopped by Monday to tell us about what he is doing for our state. Drake Dittman has the story. John Thune visited the 2017 Boy State group Monday in the JFAC Auditorium. There he talked about his experiences as a Boy Stater as well as his experiences in government. He then proceeded to talk about his journey to the Senate. He offered the Boy Staters his tips on success and motivated the Boy Staters to try something new, get out of their comfort zone, and make new friends. After this, we caught up to Senator Thune to see if he had some extra time for an interview. Luckily, we were able to get some time with him. Senator Thune talked about how President Trump has changed the political atmosphere in the Senate as compared to former President Obama. Well, they're very different uh, personalities for sure. Um, and I think, you know, President Trump's still sort of uh, navigating and he's, I think, uh, learning his way how to deal with the Senate. And part of it is he's a complete outsider. You know, Obama actually was in the Senate. I got elected the same year as he did. So he came out of the Senate. I think maybe he went into the job of president with a little bit more experience about how to deal with the legislative branch of the government. But, you know, I think this president is starting to figure that out. And uh, it's important that they be able to work together. You know, if we're going to get anything done for the country. After that, he made a statement regarding what his best advice would be for the future and current boy staters. Uh, it was a very um, interesting and fun week. Um, I think I learned a lot. And, um, you know, maybe, uh, who knows, it's hard to say sometimes when, you're, when you end up doing what I'm doing now uh, career-wise that, uh, you know, whether or not Boy State contributed in a big way to it, but it certainly, I would say, got me interested. And, yeah. uh, and hopefully it'll get all you guys interested. Yeah, thank you. From the Johnson Fine Arts Center, I'm Drake Dittman, and this is Boy State News. Thanks for the interview with Senator Thune, Drake. Senator Thune was an excellent way to kickstart the week. But the boys have been busy doing more than just listening to speakers. In this next piece, we'll cover some of the ordinances created by the cities. Uh, it's been interesting meeting all these different types of people from, you know, different places throughout the state, I guess. It's interesting to get different ideas and different perspectives from everyone. Boy State of South Dakota gathers over 300 young leaders at the Northern State University campus in Aberdeen. Here they develop their leadership and communication skills as well as learning about different aspects of the government. I like it. Uh, it exposes you to new things and you can learn a lot and run for different offices and stuff like that. Before Boy State, everyone is assigned to a city. Within your city, you can run for numerous offices. Uh, campaigning was interesting. Some interesting... Uh, political stances that people wanted. Other than running for offices, the boys can create various ordinances throughout their city. Nothing super crazy yet, but um, I've heard from some of the other cities they got some crazy ideas. So. We are, whoever uh, conducts the best prank gets a dollar from everyone in the city. Um, and then if you are up late, um, and then you wake up late, so after 7 o'clock, you will get some water dumped on you. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty crazy city. Besides the fun and games going on within the cities, some have formed alliances, others have made some enemies. We're the best. On the NSU campus, Carter Schmidt, Boy State News. Thanks, Carter. Next up, look at some of the various mayors who passed ordinances and their thoughts on the Boy State election process. I plan on... Uh making a lot of laws, some fun laws, some laws that need to be uh, put in there as punishments for some things like trash or if, uh, rooms aren't kept always straight, um, basically like that stuff. Um, gonna appoint some good, good guys that I think fit roles uh, in our city that will do some work and make our city just a better place all around. Within the 15 cities, there is a total of 305 boys. All of these cities elected their very own mayor. It isn't easy to become mayor within your city. You have to be well liked and have a strategy in your campaigning. You know, I'm really popular in New York. Uh, everybody likes me in New York. Um, I don't know, I'm a fun guy and uh, I'm really good at what I do. And I just, everybody really likes me all around. 
Sometimes, the competition at Boys State is intense. Multiple citizens within the city fight for a top spot. For our city council, we had three different ties, including myself for mayor, and we, they were all decided by a coin flip. Candidates for each position have to listen to the citizens within the community in order to secure their spot at mayor or any other position. I guess just so I could voice everyone's ideas and opinions and um, you know there's some things that people wanted and I was saying you know I'd help them put those in place. Now that the mayor races are over people are campaigning for the governor rule. Only one boy will be selected out of the 15 cities. Signing off from NSU campus is Corbin Nye from Boys State News. That's a great story. In this next piece, we'll be looking at two of the largest optional activities Boys State has to offer and some of the people who take part in them. Next up, Drake Dittman discussing band and choir. The Boys State band and choir have been hard at work for the last couple days preparing for their concerts on Thursday night. We checked in with some of the boys to see how Boys State was going for them. First, we met with Jackson Sargent from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Jackson said that he's here to learn more about government and his favorite part of Boy State is meeting new people. I've always had an interest in government and politics and I feel like Boy State was a great way to see if I had any skill in the area. Jackson plays percussion in the Boy State Band and is currently the city engineer for the city of San Francisco. He is looking forward to the election and is campaigning to become the next Boy State Governor. Looking forward to the primary debates. We haven't done that yet. Each governor candidate gets to speak for a little bit. And then if I do win the primaries, which let's hope I do, I'm going up, uh, I would go up for a debate in front of all of Boy State where the uh, Boy State students get to ask the questions. And I think that's going to be really fun. His advice to future Boy Staters would be to keep trying for office, go all out, and meet as many new friends as you can. For those going into Boy State, I'd say my best advice is to just try for as much stuff as you can, just go all out, meet as many new people as you can, because that is really rewarding and it's the best way to live this week. Next, we met up with Isaac Colesgrove from Spearfish, South Dakota. Isaac told us he wanted to join Boy State because he's always loved U.S. history and his favorite experiences so far in Boy State is meeting new people. I've always loved U.S. history and the history of government, and it's just something that really interests me, and I love hanging out with all the other guys. Isaac is a part of the Boy State Choir and is currently mayor of San Francisco. He is looking forward to making connections with people and is hoping to become the next lieutenant governor. I'm looking forward to making connections with people that are going to matter down the road. He told us how choir was a big part of his life and said that boy staters should try to set themselves apart and work hard. Choir has always been a big part for me. It's been one of my big passions that I love to do. And uh, when I heard that they had a choir here, I was pretty much sold on it. From the JFAC Band and Choir Room, I'm Drake Dittman, and this is Boy State News. Thanks, Drake. One of the core pieces of the Boy State experience is getting to listen to numerous different speakers, each with their own viewpoints and pieces of advice. In this next piece, we'll talk with Attorney General Marty Jackley about politics. Marty Jackley, South Dakota's Attorney General, came to Boy State on Tuesday to talk about his experiences in politics and law. Jackley talked about his experiences as Attorney General, his upcoming bid for governor, and his advice for Boy Staters pursuing politics in the future. I always believe that you get into something um, that you put into it. Uh, that basically if you're at, at Boy State and you're making an effort, you're having uh, an opportunity to meet new friends, that it, it's that kind of activity and that, that kind of energy that will help you along the way if you have that interest in politics. Jack Lee also talks about how his time as Attorney General had given him insight into the importance of a strong network of supporters. You know, I think that the, the, the most important lesson is to surround yourself with a strong team. A strong team that has integrity, has honesty and a strong work ethic, and, and that's what I've tried to do both as U.S. Attorney and as Attorney General. From the Johnson Finance Center, this is George Roy of Boy State News. For our last piece of the night, we'll be interviewing another prominent speaker, Dusty Johnson. That's right, Drake. South Dakota's former Chief of Staff, Dusty Johnson, came to Boy State on Tuesday to share his message and wisdom with all of us. Johnson is also running for U.S. Congress and is looking to make some big changes for South Dakota. 
I get frustrated uh, about what's going on in Washington, D.C. like everybody does, but I'm an optimist. Uh, I think it still matters who runs this country, and I want to be a part of the solution. Uh, to me, solutions have always been more important than problems. If elected, Johnson is hoping to make a change in Washington. He is ready to bring some new ideas to Congress. Uh, I want to do what we need to do to try to get things done by talking about solutions. And I'm excited to roll out my sleeves and get to work. Johnson is also a former boy stater and has noticed how much things have changed compared to when he attended the week-long program. One thing that you know anybody who comes to Boyd State recognizes is that there's a tremendous amount of energy. That energy has become a hallmark of South Dakota Boyd State and it is only on the rise. A lot of people care, they're excited to be here. And the energy seems to be getting more and more positive as the years go by. I mean, now, you know, a, a speaker comes on stage and they get greeted like they're Bruno Mars. That's kind of a lot of fun, uh, particularly for me because I never get greeted like that. He encourages all boys to enjoy the week and make the most of it. Really enjoy this week. Uh, thousands of dollars and thousands of uh, hours of uh, labor have gone into creating this opportunity that most people in the world will never get an opportunity to experience. Uh, it'll be something that you'll remember for decades and uh, make the best of it. Johnson's positivity kept everybody interested in what he had to say and he said he enjoys coming back to Boy State every year. In the Johnson's Fine Arts Center, I'm Carter Schmidt, Boy State News. Once again, we would like to thank Dusty Johnson for coming to Boy State and sharing your knowledge with all of us. Don't forget to follow South Dakota's Boy State on Facebook and Twitter using the official hashtag BoyState75. An exclusive Boy State Snapchat filter will be active tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and ending 1 p.m. on Friday. That's it for the news. I'm Drake Dittman. And I'm Carter Schmidt. Stay classy, Boy State.